right, so what I'm going to show you guys to do is how to add a glass effect on any kind of shape. So, go to File, New, Select. You can select any kind of size for the document. For this one, I'm going to choose a standard 640 times 480 pixels. Background, Contents, White, Color Mode, RGB. Okay. Once you have that, you want to click any shape you want. I'm going to use this. To make a per if you chose the shape I chose to make a perfect circle, what you want to do is hold down shift on your keyboard and then just stretch it out so it won't get deformed and it won't look like an oval. Alright, so once you have that, uh, by the way you can use any kind of color you want for this one, I'm just going to use orange. Alright, so once you have the shape down, um, look in your layer palette and right click on the image and select layer transparency. Create a new layer without deselecting. Go to select, modify, contract, contract by three pixels. All right, now choose uh, the same in the same as your foreground color. Just click on it and just choose it darker. Just go down, darker a bit, darker, darker, darker. And now it turns like a brownish. All right, so we have that. Now switch to your gradient. Um, use the gradient to transparent and now just you can either go up or down I think it's wiser to go up like so and see already it's added some kind of volume all right once you have that deselect command D on your keyboard and now create uh, do the same thing again right click on the little image on the first layer um, yeah the first layer Select layer transparency, create a new layer, put it on top, and what you want to do here is select the marquee tool, but select the elliptical marquee tool. And the third option above is subtract from selection. You want to select that. And what it's going to do is just going to subtract, instead of making a shape, it's going to subtract what you select. So now just do this. And there it automatically just makes like a smile sort of thing. Alright, now that select, go to select, modify, contract by three again. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Um, select, modify, contract five. Let's do five. Alright, now just to make it a little more smoother, right click on the selection holding the lasso tool. Right click on the selection, feather. Let's give it a 10. All right, now just fill it in with a paint bucket with white, or or instead of a white, just any any bright color from the base color you chose. So I chose orange. Now I'm just gonna choose like a pale peach. All right, so see now if it if you think it if the position didn't really suit you that much, so just you can just move it around. Alright, now, what you want to do is create a new layer, select the elliptical marquee tool, set white as your foreground color, and make a circle, like this. It doesn't have to be a circle, it can be an oval, it can be in whatever. Alright, so, now, as white as your foreground color, choose foreground to transparent on the gradient tool go from up to down like this so it automatically added that now once you have that done it's basically already finished all you have to do now is just link the layers onto the layer palette click here merge linked and it automatically merges now something that can help you a lot with this effect is adding a reflection to it like as if it were on a glass table or something. So just duplicate the image holding Alt Shift with your keyboard. And then just transform it. Command T. Make it look like up, upside down type of. And I'll just put it below the original layer. 
Attains the opacity to like about 50, 51. Doesn't really matter. It depends on the taste on how you want it. Now, once you have this, choose a eraser tool and set the opacity to about uh, let's say 60, 60, and then just erase a little once, two times if you want. And there you go. You have a glass type of effect. Um, if you want, if this helps a little. Um, if you're going to use it for like a website, you can just add text. I'm going to add now just position it and do the same steps you did with the circle to this and it'll give it the exact same effect. Just this. Forget to visit tattoopassion.com and keep visiting the Fatal Forum because I'll be posting more tutorials. I hope this helped out. Bye.